so uh, let uh, in this video i am going to interact with mahesh and uh, mahesh uh, is doing his masters from prestigious indian institute of science in a very very prestigious department which is computational data science cds it is called uh, mahesh uh, got very good uh, gate score that is uh, mechanical engineering mein he got 868 axi paper also he got uh, 844 gate score he did job also dassault uh, uh, systems mein he did job for 3 years and uh, uh, you know this uh, with the job uh, he then thought of changing it to uh, this uh, masters course uh, with this particular gate score he could have got call from public sector and i asked him why not public sector listen to what he has to answer and uh, computational data science kind of courses from iic are very very prestigious nowadays you can think of getting jobs of 50 lakh per annum also from these departments and the job market is booming nowadays so those of you who have got gate score and i'm not saying that very high gate score is required i will tell you the opportunities later on in the videos even at 400 gate score you are getting the courses where students are getting 30 lakh package also so low gate score is not a, a criteria for you not to get good option as your pedia has always told you that and we are going to extensively tell you that this season because placements are going to be very good so listen to this video and in this mahesh has to tell many important things to you and maybe you can interact with mahesh later on if you get the calls from this department he will be providing guidance to you for this so listen to the interaction i had with the mahesh and i'm very sure it is going to help you in making your decision okay mahesh so uh, thanks a lot for your time you gave me today to share your uh, experience of uh, masters program in iic bangalore and that is computational and data science so mahesh you are mechanical engineer so thanks a lot once again to you uh, so now mahesh over to you a very brief introduction from your side which part of india you are from and uh, from where you have done your graduation and what you did after graduation you have done some job also as you were mentioning and uh, then when you decided to go for gate and when did you write gate and what was your gate score and uh, your cgp and btec those uh, things uh, we start with yeah so i basically i graduated from bms college of uh, engineering bangalore in 2018 mm-hmm. my cgpa was 9.4 mm-hmm. after that uh, i worked for 3 uh, years uh, from mm-hmm. 2018 to august 2021 in dassault systems okay uh, so after that i uh, uh, what that um, uh, i joined iisc for masters in uh, cds department as computational data science uh, so mm-hmm. 2018 also i wrote gate but that was uh, because uh, my college had a requirement i mean he, they, it made it compulsory for everybody to write gate we had to mm-hmm. actually write and submit our gate score to the college so okay. because of that i wrote then uh, i wrote uh, 2021 also i wrote this time they allowed two papers so i wrote uh, xc and me mm-hmm. so i got uh, a68 score in uh, me mechanical and uh, mm-hmm. 844 score in uh, xc that is, mm-hmm. that is engineering science mm-hmm. so you mm-hmm. did the job for 3 years as you said right yeah 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 i wrote, I, mm-hmm. i did for 3 years so so uh, you, you, why why then you decided to leave your job because that was 3 years is quite a significant period and yeah. uh, why you decided to come into cds only because you were mentioning that you applied only in computational and data science yeah so yeah why this very specific domain mahesh yeah i mean i was already uh, in, i was actually my job was actually quite good i mean it was not uh, i didn't like hate my job mm. so i was already working on uh, what is that uh, simu- like how we have cfd simulation we have also like tool simulation and you have to uh, my job was basically to write the code for all those things mm-hmm. uh, how the tool is moving in uh, uh, the thing uh, mm-hmm. so all those things uh, so i was more interested towards like uh, 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 coding and uh, mathematics and all those things mm-hmm. so i felt that uh, upper, i felt that iisc that cds department is like a good and uh, that to this being masters program i thought uh, uh I, i didn't think much about backup because like if if not this year i can always try again next mm-hmm. so uh, so with that perspective i only applied to uh, cds uh, department mm-hmm. at iisc mm-hmm. was cds department related to your job somewhere mahesh uh not exactly i mean uh, Uh, because iisc it's more about research right so mm-hmm. may, but yeah but some uh, uh, maybe prerequisite wise uh, they require some amount of coding or uh, mm-hmm. uh, this thing uh, what is that uh, uh, some coding background so if you can show that in the interview and the test that is uh, okay so mm-hmm. yeah. so so uh, now now coming to uh, 
mahesh other uh, other departments and other courses all over india we uh, we have got other institutes also like iit bombay iit madras iit delhi and so many courses you know artificial intelligence mechatronics and data science courses also in some places management course also niti bombay and all public sectors also so why why only this if you can uh, precisely tell us yeah i mean uh... i i had some friends working in psu maybe 3 years back if you had asked me maybe i would have applied to psu also mm-hmm. but after working in the job and after mm-hmm. seeing other people P- mm-hmm. i didn't think psu culture is for me and uh, mm-hmm. so i didn't apply to any psu uh, mm-hmm. and apart from that uh, i was i am already from bangalore so i mm-hmm. thought uh, staying in iisc and everything it will like uh, it if family will be close and all those things mm-hmm. and uh, 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 and yeah and uh, for cds uh, some courses similar to cds i'm not sure i don't think uh, all the old iits are offering maybe in one or two years they may offer all these courses mm-hmm. but currently apart from iisc uh, i was also thinking of applying for uh, roorkee and guwahati and uh, uh, maybe hyderabad also but uh, i was thinking that was more of a backup and if i had gotten it i would be tempted to go so i thought uh, first you aim for iisc and then maybe later on next year again if i want i'll take those as an option because gate is valid for 3 years right so i can mm-hmm. can apply with same score mm-hmm. so okay mahesh now uh, you know i'm asking a very uh, generic question which uh, i think is a national problem national issue also that is you know many students believe and think that the only jobs only good jobs are in public sector uh you know uh, i i i believe strongly believe that if you give your good good time if you give uh, if you uh, put effort in master programs then you get very good career opportunities through masters also whether it is mtech or ms or uh, these courses in iits because they are very good institutes you know lot of good learning and many good opportunities so what is your view since you have done your private job also and that is a very good company in which you have done job now you are in isc your gate score is also very good you could have landed up in psus so what is your answer to uh, this question that can you get a very good career opportunity through you know these institutes like iscs and from these courses and from higher education yeah okay uh, spe- specifically talking about cds department uh, i would say yes because uh, i i have also done my own research on i have seen various people who have joined what are their backgrounds who have joined cds so mm. uh, and uh, also yeah other iits also i mean mm. so many people i think in your own channel also i have seen some people uh, they have quit the psus and after 4 yes. 5 years and joined ms yes yes and uh, in, even in iisc also i think last year there was on uh, per- person who passed out who was uh, he was working in uh, some psu and he was some assistant manager or something he quit after some 7 years to do masters in mm. cds Mm. so i don't think it's a private sector mm. you can't just and nowadays also the i mean before when you when you talk about psu we had all these mm. things like a good work life balance and all those things but now also that is changing because uh, it, it it is as hectic as private and in some I mean, cases you have to put effort you know whether it is yeah. private or public unless until you put effort so mm. growth will not come to you also to organization also so that culture yeah. will not be there yeah. yeah also it depends on interest also i mean if you are more of a like if you like maths mm. and all those things i don't think psu will be the right place for you also because mm. if you join iocl or something uh, you will have sales marketing those kind of roles so unless you are really interested in those things uh, mm. i don't think you should join uh, mm. okay mahesh now let me ask you related to mtech versus ms mm. these courses you know mtech and ms both the higher education courses so what is the difference between these two courses and my specific uh, question will be related to career opportunities i mean somebody does ms in data science or mtech in data science is can he get the equal kind of opportunities yeah i mean uh, compared uh, specifically speaking uh, related to uh, data science and this, uh, let's say cds department mm-hmm. yes uh, i mean they don't differentiate especially in iisc they don't they don't differentiate so mtech research and mtech uh, coursework mm-hmm. both are given uh, equal uh, this thing what is that uh, mm. opportunity and uh, it all ultimately depends on you i mean in some cases you can say even mtech research is better because mm. some companies will specifically uh, you know they come for some profile and you may you may have done your research in that area and uh, mm. you may get i i think uh, one of the i think this year also uh, the first one of the first students who got placed in cds department was a phd student so uh, so in that sense they don't and plus pe- recruiters know that i, I mean you are coming to iisc you know uh that you are doing research and uh, they know that what kind of person i what kind of mm-hmm. people they are hiring mm-hmm. so uh, 
so there is no uh, difference in that sense so mm. so this knowledge economy actually works on uh, research and you should have knowledge and research in particular domain so i think uh, ms and phd you get sufficient time and opportunity to work on the projects you get more time also to be there and all that is always a good thing now mahesh coming to isc uh, many students believe that isc is a very long course hectic course not focusing on placements better go to iit where focus is on the placement so what is your answer to this particular query that uh, sir iis is all about maths and research and masters and phd it is not about placement so your answer to this uh, yeah again uh, i'll speak only specifically to mtech and cds because i have only ap- applied to this department mm. so with the, uh, i mean specific to this department uh, yeah it, i mean the placements are very good and uh, mm-hmm. if you want uh, i mean the best probably it's the best place to do i mean if you want to study data science or something mm-hmm. if you want to do master this is the best place to do mm-hmm. so there's nothing like uh, nowadays i mean i think few years back only they started this placement office in iisc mm-hmm. so after that uh, i mean the trend is changing and most of the people who get like double digit ranks single digit mm-hmm. they prefer uh, iisc uh, mm-hmm. over uh, iits also so mm-hmm. i think uh, no that is just a misconception so so placement uh, should not be trouble right yeah especially in this department it's not a, i think already everybody has got placed still placements are going on mm-hmm. 2000 batch of uh, batch which is graduating 2022 mm-hmm. already all of them have got placed mm-hmm. uh, mahesh students normally you know compare the courses on the basis of the packages you know mm-hmm. and uh, i know that there cannot be direct answer to this question but yes Uh, any idea can you give like uh, if somebody does masters in data science from iic mm. bangalore mm. uh, what can uh, with the average package or salary he can think of getting yeah so so currently the uh, i think the average is around 25 plus uh, okay so that is the average so mm. it will increase Uh, mm-hmm. uh, it'll increase to maybe 30 in uh, mm-hmm. same, uh, so, so mother you can start your career with 30 lakh per annum package and that you are talking about india right in india in india yeah in india mm, yeah. in india that can be done mm. now coming to the course mahesh you are from mechanical engineering so yeah. uh, i believe it is interdisciplinary course so do you have mm. friends from other domains also other branches also yeah so uh, initially when i had that fear oh, i am going to uh, some cds department coding and all those things but mm. when i see my classmates itself uh, around 30, 30% of them are mechanical people mm. and only 30% are around computer science and mm. rest all uh, 40% are all Uh, scattered from various uh, some materials and mm-hmm. all those different backgrounds so mm-hmm. in that sense uh, i don't have any like uh, i mean you you will feel like oh they are also going through the same uh, problems mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. you'll be able to uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, you'll be able to cope with the syllabus it's mainly about putting uh, mainly about working hard and uh, doing uh, I mean, so mahesh when you so. when you went for mtech research or ms it is called i'm very sure there must be interview in for this and all in isc So, mm-hmm. what kind of special preparation a student should have for clearing the interview? Yeah, so uh, you should know. Uh, uh, yeah, the the first thing is if you're if especially if you're from mechanical engineering point of view, I can say that your preparation might need to be more compared to a uh, computer science person because mm-hmm. they can ask you uh, domain knowledge plus uh, what do you say uh, maths. Like what I'm what I say what I mean is. Uh, Uh, let's say maths you will have uh, you'll have to study f- uh, for sure you'll have to study linear algebra that is compulsory mm-hmm. okay. plus uh, you'll have to know some coding some basics mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. it'll be related to some matrix or some vector code so mm-hmm. should be able to handle multiple for loops nested for loops those kind of things you should know mm-hmm. then uh, apart from that uh, differential equations they may ask you mm-hmm. uh, probability also they may ask you apart from that if you are from uh, mechanical they may ask you even fvm and cfd related things i mean it, it, it's very less likely but uh, for me they didn't ask but i heard for some people they have asked mm-hmm. uh, uh, but uh, they i mean usually what they do is they are, they give you a, like a choice what is your favorite they'll ask you in the start itself what is your favorite uh, subject so mm-hmm. that time uh, you can say uh, like linear algebra and something usually two you can say mm-hmm. and they'll ask you based on that so i uh, i said for my mtech interview i said uh, uh, linear algebra and probability for uh, I'm take research interview. I said uh, linear algebra and differential equations. So, so I. So they I, asked you from there only, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that means uh, interview. Uh, they when they are conducting interview, they uh, differentiate mechanical computers and everything. I mean, the, from computer guys, they will ask differently, right? uh for mtech interview i think it was uh, random because uh, mm-hmm. they randomly allotted the uh, what do you say the interview panel. Mm-hmm. This time it was online, so it was on done on mm-hmm. teams only. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, 
so it was a, so, so so they have asked them some basic code and uh, uh, i mean if i'm take interview i think it was just maths and uh, uh, what is it uh, some basic linear algebra and what what do you say uh, coding but for mm-hmm. ms interview it uh, you have to give uh, preference so to your labs which three labs you want to go mm-hmm. so most probably those professors only will interview you so mm-hmm. they they can ask you some in depth uh, and in, uh, questions and interview also might be a bit longer mm-hmm. so Mm-hmm. i have heard mahesh that uh, from isc many students aspire to go for doctorate also top universities in the world yeah, so that uh, tendency also tends to increase students realize that okay there can be career opportunities after getting super specialized in particular domain so uh, uh, can, what can you tell us about uh, such opportunities which students explore from your department for higher education let's say phd and all for that yeah i mean uh... there's always opportunity to go abroad i mean it mm-hmm. is uh, that is also one of the options mm-hmm. but uh, universities i guess uh, from my department uh, most of them are either in if if, if they are going for phd they they go either to us or germany mm-hmm. yeah, but uh, and yeah they go to good universities but if you if you are talking about universities like uh, uh, mit stanford those kind of universities you have to really uh, what do you okay. say you have to have yeah you have to have good research i mean i, I don't think they look at uh, which university you come from so mm-hmm. you have to have good research but isc gives you the platform to uh, you know pub- do good public publications and all those things mm-hmm. so so, so uh, students also fear that isc may very hectic uh, schedule will be there and it will be very hectic they may not even pass and all so mm-hmm. what is your view on that yeah it is uh, it is hectic only but yeah, you will pass that is uh, the only thing is you hard to get a good grade but uh, yeah for uh, but for mtech research and phd you need to be careful because you have uh, there's a criteria you have to maintain uh, for best i think for 12 credits that is around three or four courses you need to maintain minimum 7 cgpa mm-hmm. so that is one criteria but that if you work hard you can easily it is easily manageable because a lot of weightage is given to assignments and quizzes and all those things to spread out so it's uh, unless you everything becomes like a, Uh, mm. unless you do badly in all those components uh, you, you will get a uh, i mean you you will end up with a good grade so mm. decent grade at least mm. okay mahesh if so, if i ask you this question why a student with very good grade score and all should join iic bangalore data science compute uh, computational and data science why he should join what is your answer i mean uh, first of all you should be interested i mean you need to know mm. you need to be interested in coding and uh, mm. even let's say maths related things then if that interested there you can always uh, Uh, think about uh, you know cds department also mm-hmm. i mean as a mechanical there are so many other options also you know the robotics is there mm-hmm. you, core, you can go for direct uh, aptech mechanical mm-hmm. also. so ultimately it depends on what uh, job you want in the future mm-hmm. all those things mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. great so mahesh now what are the options you have kept for yourself after uh, your masters yeah so if I, uh, for me if i'm doing well in my uh, research and if i'm uh you know getting good publications and all those things i'll go for phd if i'm mm. doing okay okay then i'll go for a job okay. that is my this mm, great so mahesh i think you have given us a, a very good you know uh, this insight into this particular course yeah. and uh, good ideas about this and i'm very sure this uh, our interaction once published will be very very helpful to the students mm. and you know when some student feels like talking to you and that is mm. at the time of admission when they get the calls or something from this department in isc they tend to uh, request that can we talk to mahesh or something like that so i am very sure you will try to help at that time the students who will get the calls or something maybe they will feel like asking you something right yeah. and uh, i am really thankful to you once again and all yeah. the very best for your career forward mahesh yeah thank you thank you